hardware buttons like volume rockers, recent back and even the home key can do so much more using different button press events. Some might even like to swap the back and recent buttons to ease accessibility on their Android device. So today I'll show you how to get things done on any Android device without even a root access. Now it's simple and easy, so let's get started and have a look. While some developers give this features by default using which you can give more than one function to a different button press event on your Android. But most of the developers don't provide any of such features. But as always, there's an app for that and this time the name is Button Mapper. This app is fresh from Urban on the Play Store and it's still in beta state and you'll have to join the beta testing community before you can download the app. Now I'll provide you all the links in the description of the video. So make sure that you join the community and then go ahead and download the app from the Play Store. However, if you don't want to do that and you just want an APK file, I'll provide that as well in the description of this video. Now after you've installed the app and launched it for the first time, you'll be asked to grant accessibility settings to it. These permissions are mandatory if you want to app to change the hardware keys behavior without the root access. Once that's done, Depending upon the device that you're using, you'll see the keys that can be remapped using the button mapper. Devices which have soft navigation keys will only show volume button as the hardware key, but devices like Samsung and Asus with hardware navigation key will show all of them. The power button of course will be hidden on all the devices because of security reasons. Now you just need to tap the respective buttons that you wish to remap and choose what happens when, you, uh, when the button is pressed for a longer duration or when it is double pressed on an event. There are so many functions that you can assign to button press events like turning on the flashlight, take a screenshot or even change the music track. There's also an option to change the default behavior of a hardware button on a single tap. But I would advise you to keep that functionality to default unless you are, know that you are doing or you are swiping the behavior of the back and the recent key. Well, talking about it, the app gives you an option to do that directly without buying the pro version if you scroll down in the home screen. Now, by any chance, if you assign functionalities that you don't want to be there and your buttons functionalities are messed up, there is a reset button up top using which you can reset everything to default. There's also a feature using which you can press the home button while you're on the lock screen to simply turn off the screen. But this is only useful if you don't have a fingerprint sensor on your home button. So that was how you can use the Button Mapper app to remap Android hardware keys without root access. Now for any doubts and appreciation, we have the comment section and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and until next time, take care and have a wonderful day.